Wanna learn some basic? Wanna learn some basic? Yeah? You wanna learn about the CGA color palette? Yeah? Okay, let's go do it. So I got the request to show how in basic I did um, a palette change for CGA in a game I made. So I thought I'd kind of explain it because I, when I tried to figure this out, there wasn't a whole lot of documentation on it. Yeah, it was, it was easy to find out how to change some of the colors, but to access some of the additional palettes, it's a little bit tricky. And you wouldn't know unless you did a lot of research and found some obscure documents. I actually read a basic book from the 80s that I found online as a PDF, and it took a while to, to found this, find this. So I did. So anyway, so first of all, I created this program which loads an image, um, which may be familiar to most people. Yep. So it's a Commander Keen 4 image in a traditional um, palette. So it just loads the picture. So what I do is the first thing it does is it clears the screen. And then it changes the graphics mode to screen 1, which is CGA. Uh, then it does a dimension, which is this is a uh, an array that you put the um, picture in. And this it just defines what the picture is. And then it goes to the subroutine down here at the bottom that loads the image into uh, memory and then you put it on the screen and that's all the the program does so it just basically loads an image and then puts it on the screen so if you wanted to change the color there's actually one of the statements is color and so the first attribute and then a second attribute so now it's changed the palette to the darker shade the first attribute is the background color so if you want to change the background color from 0 to 1 you do that and now it looks like that and the second attribute is kind of the palette so one would go to without the second attribute it would just be the regular palette with a different background color or you could do this back, background color which looks pretty terrible and so on so you can give all these different palettes and make it look very different but not necessarily good and so that's probably why no one used this feature too much in a lot of games because it just looks terrible um, and that one washes it out but I bet this one will look a little bit better that one doesn't look too bad so but a lot of people kept it black the same and if you put one then you get this slightly darker palette and if you pick two then you get the brown red and green palette but then you think oh I'll push three I get a different palette no, you still get the same dark one. Four. Still the brown one. Five. Six. At that point, it just alternates between the two. Well, what if you do a negative palette? It gives you an error. Zero, zero. zero. Gives you that palette. So, how on earth do you change it to the other palettes? Because, as we know, there's other palettes in CGA. Some of them are documented, some of them are not documented. Well, let's say you wanted the um, uh, one of these palettes, the, the different palette. So we can just do do an out nine eight five comma sixteen, and you get this palette, which is yellow, kind of pinky, pinky red, and then green, light green. Now I just realized I didn't mention this earlier, so. Just so you know, this palette and some of the other palettes will only work if you are using real CGA hardware or a um, emulator with the setting set as CGA. If you use a regular EGA or VGA monitor or VGA setting, it will not show up like this. It will just show up as the regular pattern palette. It will not change it at all. So if you're not getting any changes, make sure that it's set for CGA. Okay, back to the regular schedule programming looks interesting and it's different okay so um, what if you wanted to do it even different palette you can do this statement out nine eight four four six out let's just do that by itself and that is a different palette it's actually a pretty pleasing palette that's one I would actually work with that's an alternate palette that's not even in the normal realm of things you can use but you can use it in basic if you know this command and then out nine eight five sixteen and keep the other one previously that's no that's the same one 
What if we could just use that one? No, that's that's the green one. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so you get rid of those two, and then we can do. Let's see. Uh, out. I can't remember which ones I've done. No, that was the one I already did. So we let's just blank this one out. And then oh, here it is: nine eight five, comma zero. No, that's still that palette. There's another palette I know we can do if we do this. There we go. So using those combined, now you get this dark red with the dark uh, cyan and kind of gray, white, and black. And it looks pretty good. But then you can still modify it from there. So you want to do color, change the background color to, let's do one. It doesn't look half bad. I don't know why did people didn't use this back in the day, because I could actually use this. This is a palette I could use. Or let's say we wanted to make it a little bit different even. And do that. That's not bad either. So there's a lot of playing with the palette you can do, even in basic. So even basic programs didn't really take advantage of this. I don't know why. I think there's just a lack of knowledge. And so I think most people used the standard palette or the alt one of the easy alternate palettes because it was just there. And that's what you got. So if that's interesting, um, leave a like, leave a comment. If not, then uh, don't. But there is the code on the screen now. You can just play with it. And just to do the color, you can do so many things. Um, so let's do 15. It's all washed out. But if we did color uh, 14, it's all washed out too. So there's a reason why people didn't do that, I think. It just looks terrible. But, like I said, This palette right here looks pretty good. And there are a few things that use it. I know that there are, because I've seen them. And I was, was wondering as a kid, how come some CJ games had this kind of cool looking colors? And I never realized that what the you know what the problem was, why some had this and one side some didn't. But now um, thinking back at it, there's a lot of missed opportunities that you know they could have done to improve their games. So I would have played CGA keying like this. This would have been a lot better than the, the regular CGA keying, which was just looks look like garbage. It's just that hot pink color and, and uh, cyan. So anyway, if you wanted more videos like this, let me know. Um, a little bit of an instruction, a basic uh, tutorial. Mm -hmm. I'm working on a few things right now. I'm still working on a game um, that probably will be finished eventually. <laughs> and I also uh, finished a, li a little tiny game I made um, last week, I'm still working on just getting the finishing touches on, but it's kind of an homage to a 1988 movie that featured this, uh, something like this. So anyway, if you tune in next time, I'll, I'll give you a heads up on that. So anyway, see you in the next video.